kids in our family. Their work is an integral part of what will be the best picture of the year and of every picture of every year. The award that is about to be given then is a tribute to each and every one of them. The best motion picture is Hi, I'm Robert Osborne. As part of our 31 Days of Oscar Festival, we're in the process of showing all five of Oscar's Best Picture nominees for the year 1949. And up next, we have another film, like our last one, released by 20th Century Fox. This one was written and directed by Joseph L. Mankiewicz, and is titled A Letter to Three Wives. It turned out to be a great triumph for Joe Mankiewicz, winning him two Academy Awards, one as Best Director, and one for pinning the year's Best Screenplay. Now this is an adaptation of a John Klempner's short story that first appeared in Cosmopolitan magazine, then was published as a novel called A Letter to Five Wives. It was Daryl F. Zanuck at the Fox Studio who discarded two of the wives for this film version. So what we have is a story of three married women who jointly receive a letter from a woman with whom they're all acquainted, who announces to them that she's run off with one of their husbands, but she doesn't mention which husband. At the time they received the letter, the three wives are about to escort some school children on a boat trip up the Hudson River. And during that time, via flashback, we see insights into how those marriages have been playing out as the women try to discover which of their husbands has bolted. Now, besides being witty and smart, the script, there are some wonderful performances from a cast that includes Jean Crane, Linda Darnell, and Anne Southern as the three wives. Also, two interesting Douglases, Kirk Douglas and Paul Douglas, no relation by the way. This was early Kirk Douglas, who later the same year of 1949 would have his breakout role in the boxing drama Champion. And for Paul Douglas, this was his big screen debut after he earned great acclaim in the Broadway production of Born Yesterday with Judy Holliday, which he'd played on Broadway for three years. This film made Paul Douglas an overnight star and led to his being teamed with Linda Darnell immediately after in two more films. Others in cast include scene stealers such as the great Thelma Ritter, Connie Gilchrist, and Florence Bates. There's also Jeffrey Lynn and Barbara Lawrence. It's a delight on every level, and we bring it to you now. From 1949, A Letter to Three Wives. <laughs> 